Swatch 109 is bleached cotton. It is spun, balanced plain weave. So this would be the muslin that's now been bleached. So no dye, but it is has the finish bleached. Um, and uh, the same properties pretty much hold, right? That uh, it has good absorbency and it um, has a variety of thread counts. And so you'll notice that it's still muslin because it has no other finish, but it has been bleached. So it's called bleached muslin. This might be used for um, sheets or for shirts or other things where the pretty uh, color doesn't matter. So I really want to compare this with the muslin, uh, the previous swatch. The glazed chintz is 100% cotton. It is spun. It is also a balanced plain weave. Dyed using a resist print screen print. It is friction calendar to give it that nice shine. And there was a resin applied uh, to polish. So the friction calendars polish the resin to a high luster. It will have a smooth hand. And it's used usually in interiors for things like drapery and bedspreads, tablecloths, that sort of thing. And you can see the lustrous coating right there, but this is in fact 100% cotton. Swatch number 111 is the embossed seersucker, so 50% cotton. So this is not even placé, right? This is not seersucker, it's just a really poor imitation of seersucker. Um, the embossing could even wash out. Balanced, plain weave. No dye print, but it does. It was bleached, embossed, calendared, and it has a raised design. Um, it does have somewhat of a waxy texture, and it um, looks like, but is not seersucker used for blouses and dresses, uh, inexpensive blouses and dresses. So in fact, this design is just embossed on, and if I wanted to iron it, I could iron this design right out of the fabric.